It's so amazing. Ooh, it's so amazing. I'm so excited. You guys don't know this about me, but I do not drink tequila. Cheers to Mexico. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a honeymoon vlog. I'm so excited to document all of this. I think it's gonna be really fun. So tonight we're in Dallas. Um, it's about five and a half hours from where we live, but it's a little bit easier to fly from here. Um, so we made a road trip and we're having like a fun night tonight. We are staying in a really fun hotel room, downtown Dallas, and then we'll fly out in the morning. So I'll give you guys a quick little room tour. This is gonna be a messy room tour, but you can kind of see our view. We're unpacked, we just kind of threw everything in here. Bed, obviously, big TV. Over here, this is where you walk in. And this is the bathroom. Ooh, ooh, look at that action. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Very normal bathroom. But we are leaving for Cancun tomorrow, so that's super exciting. And yeah, this will probably just be like a bunch of clips of our time. Oh, it's locked. Oh no. Ah. What's up guys? We just made it to the resort. We're looking a little rough. We've been traveling for about 14 hours today, but I wanted to give you guys a room tour. It's so amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, so when you walk in, first of all, you see this humongous bathtub slash jacuzzi bathroom but look and at then, this and then and then you see this humongous boy drinking <laughs> pina coladas <laughs> and we have this amazing huge mirror love it oh my gosh vanity i didn't even see that when we first walked in that's where the shower is right there bed husband getting drunk big TV couch stuff over here and then my favorite part is the balcony I just you guys so when you walk out here so we're on the it does stink so there is some live music right here I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me but since it's dark you can't see it but the ocean is right there this is the adult pool restaurants live music another pool all these and then we have another hot tub outside so amazing you guys I literally have a feeling we're about to have the best time of our life and I think that's our room service calling talk to you guys tomorrow good morning our first full day in Cancun so excited let me show you guys outside again because last night when I showed y'all it definitely was too dark. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Okay, so then this is the adults only pool. That's a restaurant, another adults only pool, and then that's the ocean. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, the fogginess. Babe, my camera got so foggy out there. Yeah, I didn't even know that happened. But today I think we're just gonna chill out, take it super, super easy, just really relax. We've had, I think we counted and it was six like crazy intense days all in a row. So today we're just really ready to like decompress and take a nap if we want to and just lay in the sun. So excited and then I think tomorrow we might do an excursion but it doesn't matter I'll take you guys along with me anyway to see um we put them on our registry if you're getting married soon putting stuff for your honeymoon was actually like super helpful for us we put luggage and like these towels and stuff and it was it was a good idea um anyway they're supposed they're like huge quick drying towels that you can like put um, over your chair and stuff so that's exciting I need some coffee and some breakfast, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So, we are about to go have lunch, and Haley over here has a 32 ounce margarita. It's 
It's a pina colada. Oh wait, pina colada. Pro That's tip, what... when you go to an all-inclusive resort, bring your own cup and they'll fill it up for you. So instead yeah. of going and getting a bunch of cups, you just have one big cup. I made that mistake and did not bring one. So that's unfortunate and you just end up getting a lot of plastic cups. Hurry up. Right that's all right. Better to be the nicer one in this situation. Yep. And then we've been hanging out by the pool all day. Yeah, it's been the best. Mm -hmm. Yep, we had a lot of drinks by the pool. I've had like a lot of margaritas. I like you saying margaritas. Pina coladas. Pina coladas. And I'm probably gonna have more. Add some water to sober up a little bit, but we're gonna go have some lunch. So. Show the. Um, this is the lobby of the place. It is really nice. Ten out of ten recommend. Let's show y'all the the balcony. So this isn't the place that we're staying at. I mean, it's all the same resort, but we're staying on the adult side. But this is still part of it. We are at the pool now. Let me give you guys a quick look. And we got this fun like little bed cabana thing. <sighs> Not gonna lie to you guys, we did take a nap. We took what? About took lunch. We had lunch and then we took a nap. And now we're refreshed and ready to go. Round two. Sobered up and ready to go round two. It is evening time now. We are at the bar. We're about to head to dinner. I'm having a strawberry pina colada. That's what I've been having pretty much all day today. I'm having a michelada. It's a lot different than American one. Hmm. It's like brown. America is like red. It's so good. Not what I expected though. And then my top. This is so cute. It's from Express. Um, great. Great quality, no complaints, especially for it being such a light color. And it's cute. My top's from ASOS. <laughs> Let me show you guys the bar. This bar is so pretty with the lights. We have just been hanging out by the pool today and just totally relaxing, which is exactly what we needed. I, after the wedding, we just were so tired. I think I already said that in the last clip and I should probably stop trying how tired we were, but my gosh, so sleepy. And now we finally feel refreshed and ready to go, ready to party. We leave at 7.30 in the morning tomorrow, so we have to wake up at 6, 6.30. So we can't stay up too late, but it's gonna be a good night. All right, so it was my choice to get on here and show y'all our our shots. Look at this! Oh, it's it's so cool. Tequila? No, lime juice, tequila, sangria. And you take them all in order. Yep, like she said, you take them all in order. You guys don't know this about me, but I do not drink tequila like at all. We made it to where are we? 
um, is the what? island of women. <laughs> is what what? We'll show you guys. I can't remember what it's called. It is the most beautiful beach you have ever seen in your life. The sand. It's just like this tiny little island that we rode a boat out to. It's so beautiful. I think this is the most beautiful water I have ever seen in my life. Like, are you kidding? Literally crystal clear. relaxing and chilling I've said that every time but that's what this whole vacation has been just like totally relaxing anyway we did the TikTok challenge of drinking the rainbow and I thought it was so fitting because it's pride month too but we had a drink for every color of the rainbow and now I can't keep my eyes open because so. she's gonna take a nappy nappy but we have to get our covid test today we were supposed to do it earlier in the week but it just didn't end up working out so now we have to do it today and this is gonna be my first covid test that i've ever gotten and i'm a little bit nervous but i'll let you guys know how it goes because it's scary i don't know why i'm scared of it i know like there's people who literally had to get covid tested every single day for work every three days for work or whatever and i don't know i'm just scared of it but those rainbows <laughs> the rainbow shot really messed with me up it's not a rainbow shot no the rainbow drink challenge and then after that i had a mudslide which i've never had before it was pretty good we were just talking about how the drinks here are literally better than any drinks we've ever had yeah yeah now i'm having what am i having Vodka a vodka club soda because I feel like the club soda kind of cancels out the alcohol so it's like I'm rehydrating it's backwards it's backwards you're Look, not getting any looks... hydration because the vodka is in there well we try to do things to make it right but sometimes it just doesn't work out so cheers to Mexico and it's our last day so we're making the most of it yeah and by the way it is only 12 o'clock and we finished our rainbow challenge so yeah, I mean, we got more to go. We'll see how this turns again. <laughs> but honestly, I probably, I'm speaking for you too. This is the most we have drank for this many consecutive days. In our whole lives. Yes, sure. like. Like, by a long shot, because we drank the night before the wedding, then we drank on the wedding, and then we've been drinking since. I feel like it's mandatory to drink here. At the resort? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Like we're just gonna go on a juice cleanse when we get home. <laughs> <laughs> it cancels it. Yeah. I don't know. It's been pretty nice. I you just have to be strategic about it, I guess, right? Yeah. 
I drink a lot of water in between, but. And you kind of choose like a time of day. Like I drink a lot more like in the afternoon and don't drink as much at night. Yeah. I like to drink at night. Well, that's a lie. Anybody that knows me likes knows that I like to drink all day. Whatever. Every day. You like to drink like once every two months. Okay, we literally have not picked up the camera one time today, so I'm very sorry about that, but it's our last day. I don't remember if I told you guys we booked one extra and we've just been really taking it all in today. So we're about to go to dinner. Jacob is figuring out all of like the COVID stuff. Um, Cause you know, you have to like show your negative tests and all that stuff to travel. And he's taking care of that for us, which is really nice. But in order to stay an extra day, we had to switch rooms and this room is just not as good. It's fine, it's fine, that's me complaining. It's just the view is not the same at all, which is fine. <laughs> um, but I want to show you guys my outfit real quick for tonight. Here is my outfit for dinner tonight. These shoes are from Misguided and the shirt is from ASOS. Yes, it is a little see-through. I'm embracing it and being confident and it's fine. <laughs> um, and then my earrings are Kendra Scott. I wear these ones all the time. If you guys are like trying to decide if you want to spend a little bit more money on earrings, I highly recommend it. My ears get infected and stuff super easily. So it's just really nice to be able to wear something every single day. And like, I don't know, I feel like it's worth the money. But yeah, here is my outfit Ooh, for the night. We're going back to um, a steak place that we went to last night because it was so good, you guys. And I'm not even a steak person. I don't really like red meat. I usually don't like steak very much, but this place was phenomenal. Everyone told me before we came here, like, yeah, like, resort foods, okay, it's not great. Um, but I've been impressed with the food. The buffet is not amazing, but it's definitely not bad. And all the restaurants we've gone to have been like really really amazing wouldn't you say babe yeah for sure yeah the food's been super good and the drinks are so good i haven't really drank today because i overdid it the last couple days i think i i never got like over the top too drunk but i woke up this morning and my body was like stop it stop 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 so i'll probably have some red wine or something with my steak tonight but that's about it and I want to feel good and refresh when we travel tomorrow just because it's so easy to feel like dehydrated and yucky and stuff when you travel. But I wanted to pick up the camera and just show you guys today a little bit. Oh.